This video will be demonstrating how to use the shoulder wand to perform shoulder flexion and standing using an active assist in motion. For this direction, it won't matter which side or way the curved end is facing because our hands are going to be positioned more towards the center of the wand. So from here, position the hands about shoulder width apart with the palms facing back. Brace the shoulders by squeezing the shoulder blades together. This is so we can avoid hiking the shoulders up towards the ears. That can cause a little bit of neck tension that we don't want. From here, also double check, you have a nice tight core bracing right at the belly button. So, so that you can avoid hyperextending the low back, which is a common compensation that many will do to get more range of motion, but not how we actually want to get that motion. From here, I'm going to use my stronger side to raise my injured or my tighter side forward and up. So use as much assistance as is needed starting out. Don't push the range into a painful point. Just do what you can tolerate to begin with. At your end range, hold for up to five seconds as tolerated, and then very slow with good controlled motion, make your way back down. You'll be performing this for about 10 repetitions or less if that's needed. Again, do what you can tolerate. 